Hi everybody, welcome to Come to TV. Hey guys. Brought to you by Hoverlink Japan. This is episode 187. 187. 187, sorry. Ryan. Oh, 187 in progress. <laughs> okay, so today, as you can see, I got a, an origin kind of to talk about. Yeah, that's uh, it's funky. Cool. And I got a stack of stuff that just came in, people are going to be excited about. But when it comes to new stuff, we have some new stuff oh, on our site. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to talk about that for a sec? Yes. Sure. Okay, first up, it's the RG that we saw at the model show uh, there last month, September. Month and a half ago. RG Wing Gundam. RG Wing Gundam EW version. Now this one, you know, we had the the Wing Zero uh, last year. This one, it's going to be similar, of course. I imagine you know it's using that same frame, same size, but this guy actually transforms. So you'll be transform. Able to, yeah, you'll be able to change him into his his uh, wing mode, his bird mode. That's pretty awesome. Next up, we have the option part set and another mobile worker. And uh, they pronounce that Kajalaro. Yeah, the Kajar Kajara horn. Yeah. Temporary name it says. <laughs> okay. okay. Next up we have the Kimaris. This is a very unique looking yeah. Gundam, especially for uh, the Iron Blooded Orphans. It doesn't look like one of the Greys, isn't it? It doesn't quite look like Especially a barbatos, that, except for shoulders. That weapon looks like the seven stories. Oh, seven star stories? Yeah, don't yeah. you think? Yeah, a little bit. I think bit. it's and channeling seven stories. It's interesting star, the that colors in, in the origin that the, you know, the Bar Barbatos has the, the mace and this guy has a lance. They're kind of going old school with the weapons. Even though they're giant robots. They're getting medieval the on your ass. That's right. Not on my ass. On some <laughs> orphan ass. All right. Now, these ones are called New MSA and New MSB. They're temporary names. Now, last year around the same time, we had the same kind of thing go up on our site. This is the only information Bandai gave us. We didn't know what they were. And it wasn't until we went to the Gunpla Expo and we saw these kits that weren't announced where we were able to put two and two together. And it, oh. you know, last year was the HG Amazing Red Warrior and the V-Ray, I believe. So this year at the Gumball Expo, we're going to have to keep our eyes peeled because maybe we'll be able to reveal what these uh, MSAs and MSBs are. So there you go, Ryan. The new kits that just went up on our site. Pretty RGs, cool stuff. RGs. Always good. Always good. Always big news. And then huh? some We've had one stuff. transforming RG before, didn't we? We had the Zeta. Okay. Yeah. And at that, at the time, we doubted Bandai would be able to do it with an yeah, RG yeah, frame. Well, and then size. they did it. So. Yeah. So RGs gonna, are getting better and yeah. better. So they're already awesome. I mean, I'm very excited for the show. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I think um, there's going to be some cool reveals there. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Yes. Like I've got this to show here, and I will show it. But I'm going to put it off the side because we've got to talk about the new stuff. So from Iron Blooded Orphans, we have another. Uh, you want to hold that? Weapon set. Weapon set. It comes with that mobile worker. It's pretty cool. It comes with your you pet. Can, you can buy the mobile set and then use it with your. It's I. I think they have the HG Orphan kits on there, but of course any HG you should be able to to use it. But we also have uh, this new Grace Custom. Ooh, Grace Custom, and you know, maybe it's customized in different. Oh, different let's have a look. There. Yeah, that's cool. Those this is quite a from, design departure. Don't yes. you think? Most people who are, who are familiar with the Grays will know what's different about it when it comes to the custom. I'm waiting for the one one hundred before I really start getting into it, so I'm not building any of the HGs yet. So I might be missing out, but it's coming this month. So. I mean, a high hill is such a good idea. In space when you're flying, it doesn't matter. It's all about looks, buddy. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so uh, this one everybody is really excited for. Oh, uh, yeah, the lady. The lady. This is super fum Fumina. Fumina. Very popular. So, um, because everybody's kind of uh, excited about it, want to see it, I'm going to open up this book. Okay. All right, super Fumina. Now, um, this is an HG kit, so we can kind of expect HG type of joints and stuff like that. I imagine, but of course, don't forget, this is like a humanoid type thing, this android, this, this, this Gundam. Um, so you're getting the face parts. Now, a lot of kits from Kotobuki and such, when they give you like these kind of models that look like girls, humans, they'll give you swappable faces and whatever else. That's not the case with the, the Fumina. It looks like you're just getting the one face piece there. Um, but it does look like, if you look here at the stickers, you're given choices for the eyes. So you'll be able to swap eyes with... Uh, with parts on the back there. Um, the joints, you can see these are frame parts. You're going to have a lot of these kind of joints, not just for the um, the kit, the suit. But most of these, if you look at this, uh, actually are very similar to the powered GM cardigan that came out. And even if you look at the, the box here, you know, she sports the shield and the same color scheme as that GM cardigan. So you're seeing a lot of the same weaponry and backpack type parts here. Um, and then you get on to like the hair pieces. You will be putting the head together and different head pieces. Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. In space, you've got to be cute. Yeah, you got to be cute. 
Um, they're giving you the poly, the, uh, the polycap runner all molded in white on this one, not molded in the normal polycap color. And you are getting a clear stand to kind of set her on because uh, she might not be too, too stable with those smaller legs, of course. Well, I want to look at this runner. I think it's a good strategy. You have very cute robots and then no yeah. one wants to shoot at them. They're like, they just feel bad. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just to confirm what I talked about earlier, th this runner here is the powered arm powder or runner or whatever, which came with the GM cardigan. So this is actually from the, uh, another kit. But everything else, of course, is new because you're building this, this Fumina humanoid type person and you're even getting you know, clear parts as well. So, very popular kit. It was kind of surprising considering it's not like a normal robot, but a lot of people like it. And now you can get your hands on it. Uh, the super familiar. We'll try and bring it on the show next week and kind of yeah. have it all built. So, Ryan, you got a piece of paper there? I do. I have a piece of paper and uh, there was just one interesting question that we thought we should discuss now, which is from Kiwi Banana. Okay. Are you a Kiwi who lives in New Zealand? And likes bananas? Who likes bananas? Anyway. Let's get into it. All right. Uh, actually, it sounds like a fruit juice. I'll just say that. I would drink that. I would drink that. I like Kiwi. We're totally getting off. Okay, sorry. So the question is, so the final Star Wars trailer was shown today. Yes. I can't wait to hear your reactions to it in the next episode. Yeah. Apparently there was a trailer released. I'm trying to contain oh. myself here. Do you want to talk about Star Wars, Ryan? You mean they're doing a new Star Wars You want movie? to talk about Star Wars, Ryan? <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. okay. Okay, yeah, Ryan, so something about Star Wars or something? Spaceballs. Space, Spaceballs. <laughs> Stewie. Stewie. I know, sorry, Sid. So yeah. you talk about the trailer because you were uh, just blown away. I'll start. Away. Yeah, yeah. Um, I liked it. <laughs> I think like is an understatement for yeah, the I was feelings like, that yeah. Sid had. Yeah. Because they didn't do anything over the top crazy yet. All the crazy twists and plots turns are going to come in the film and we may not enjoy them. But as far as trailers go, they just gave you everything you want to see. Oh my God, there's X-Wings. And there's troopers, and there's a lightsaber battle, and Luke's yeah, the bad guy. Luke might be Kylo Ren. I don't know. <sighs> yeah, and I'm pretty sure that chick is Leia's daughter, and Leia's like, yeah. she's channeling Amidala, and that really Padme. Me. Yeah, like yeah. she's channeling totally Padme, well, and I'm like, whoa, you were like the second reason I hated those. She's prequels. Padme's kid, so come on, she looks and looks like her. Come on. <sighs> and Han and Leia hug. Sorry, I have. I have so I'm many concerned. theories, like so many theories, like. Han's like a deadbeat dad who like took off and Leia had to raise a kid like a drug by herself and so like he that, prefers I don't even know their names but like that that chick in the trailer doesn't even know Han Solo he's only she's only been told about him and then she finally meets him and he's like yeah everything's true <laughs> actually I have a theory okay, okay. this All is right. this will blow away the internet okay so you have the the the, the black stormtrooper yeah I think that's Leia's and Han's love child How's it Han's love child? Lando's. Lando's. Lando and Leia. That's it's possible because you know what Lando, I mean. They were in the, yeah, he was the totally, moves on her and you know maybe it. when they were torturing Han, like they were like, well, what are we gonna do? Well, let's just... No, no, because it's like thirty years later. <laughs> I don't know. So what happened is like you know when Han had to like when Han got taken away by Boba Fett to Jabba's palace and Leia sort of shot Lando's like oh yeah that's it's way okay. better that's way better I got you yeah, let's, comforted let's go over there because it was get, like I'll six, get months. Back for you. six yeah. months you know yeah and then of course Lando threw, flew the Falcon into the Death Star and Return of the Jedi and blew it up and, and Leia's princesses like have oh, you did it for me and yeah. Leia's like I got you and then of course friction between Han and Lando and well, Lando Han was a successful off. businessman he had a whole freaking flying I know, station Leia's a princess yeah and all Han had Han's was a like bloody... way below her station. And he still has a Falcon 30 years later, like, dude, upgrade your car, mate. <laughs> I was kidding. That whole piece of junk? <laughs> but actually, I bought, I bought the Lego. There's the Millennium Falcon Lego from the new movie. Yeah. Spoiler filled. Yeah. Like, there's a whole bunch of characters, like Lego characters, and I'm like, who are these people? Yeah, exactly. I'm trying to... Anyway. I, I'm trying not to, like, know the character names. I just say, oh, there's a girl in the trailer and there's a dark guy, skin guy in the trailer. I'd be but kind of sad be if, if Leia and Han weren't together for 30 years. I mean, the whole point of the whole movie was that, you know, they get together. That wasn't the point of the movie. The point of the movie is that, uh, you know, got to be an epic good love story? Over evil. It was an epic love <laughs> story. They hated each other until they didn't... They, they like, yeah, I mean... It was like Stockholm I mean. Syndrome or something. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I mean, I thoroughly enjoyed the trailer. 
Yeah. But that I'm a dollar chick, man. Ray, I just got Ray, such Ray. a bad vibe. I have, I have real concerns. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Are we queuing first? We're, we're already looking into getting our tickets. Yeah. In Japan, you can't really order in advance. Like apparently, in America, the websites crashed because so many people are trying to order their tickets. In Japan, it's not the same. You kind of have to like wait for the day or the day before, and then try to book on your smartphone. But to but get we'll be some. There. But you know, we do have these Nendroids. Yes, that's actually what we should talk about. Next. Yeah, let's talk about uh, the Stewie. Nendroids came out. No episode seven stuff, or no. Awakens stuff, but we do have, you know, the classics. We do have Stormtrooper. You can't and beat we the do classics. have a, a Darth Vader. Ryan, do you want to go first? Yeah, yeah, let me, let me, get, let me go first. Okay. So here we have the uh, Good Smile Company 502 Darth Vader Nendoroid. As we know, Nendroids have been going for a while. Yes. And now they're getting into Star Wars, and you know what? I like it. Yeah. I like it because it's like something about this cuteness. It's just so damn cute. It is cute. It's like a baby. They got a big head, right? <laughs> but with Darth Vader, the thing, well, it's kind of cool. His, his helmet pops off. So let me, so you can actually oh, see the. Yeah. Oh, thing. now he's not so cute. No, Poor he's, guy. yeah. You've seen hard times, Darth Vader. I know, I know. You've, you have been mm. hurt. <laughs> the interesting thing is you actually get a separate lightsaber for like a one hand position. Okay. But with the two-handed position, <laughs> uh, it kind of clips in so that the, they're one piece. Yeah. But what I like here is you do get the, I don't know if you can see these, Sid, but <laughs> they're the no hands. <laughs> yeah. You guys remember that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> you also get the, an extra cape. And this okay. cape is pretty cool because it actually does the whole like flared, <laughs> you know, I'm pissed, I'm going to strangle you very soon kind of look. That's right. But what makes this even more awesome is, I must say, the Death Star. Yeah. It's his own personal Death Star. Now he doesn't even need to strangle people. He just, like, blows them up. But, yeah, yeah will Darth be that's back in the movies? That is the question. Uh, that's not yeah. the question. His helmet's going to be there. Not as cute as this helmet. Luke will be in there. That's right. Yeah. But, yeah, androids. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually a fan of androids. I think they're, um, I like the deformed stuff. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're cute. And they, they always try to make, like, really popular characters, so... You can be a fan of like a sci-fi series, like Iron Man, and then have an Iron Man and Android. And, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think uh, it's a very Japanese thing. Yeah. Um, this kind of super deformed. But yeah. Who wants a Darth? All right. I want a Darth. There's a Darth in my. <laughs> I sit <in> my pants. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I have the Nendoroid Stormtrooper. This is uh, number five hundred one in the the Nendoroid collection. I don't get as much stuff with mine as uh, Ryan had with the Darth Vader. I do get the stand, which is the same, and I also get, uh, you know, his weapon, and I get extra uh, hand parts. So he'll come with little fist parts, but you can put uh, one part on here so you can hold the gun, and the second interchangeable hand is actually like palm up to, to kind of hold the gun. And you can see that he will stand up, but it's hard to balance him. So that's why I'm glad they gave me the stand. I'll pl plug it on here. It's kind of a tight fit. And then he'll be good to go. So maybe with this stand, he'll be able to be more stable. And when he fires his rifle, might actually hit something. Nah, they can't do that. No. All right. So you have an Android Stormtrooper. Pew 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 pew. pew. Point blank range. I miss. You can't pew, beat pew, me. Pew, pew, you can't pew, beat pew. me with my lightsaber. I well, know, in Battlefront, <laughs> you can kill Jedi like. So somebody, Take him out of the game, EA. In one of the comments when we talked about Battlefront last episode, somebody mentioned that they saw a video where somebody, Darth Vader threw, or Luke Skywalker threw his lightsaber uh, and brought down an, an X-Wing or uh, some right. kind of plane. Tie fighter. That's cool, but they That's die cool. way That's too That's total easy. battlefield. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, let's not get stuck on battlefield. Pew, pew, can't hit a yeah. broadside uh, of a barn. Oh, that's why. Like Vader's my like, too heavy. Vader's like, I didn't even need to swing my lightsaber, dude. Yeah. You can't hit anything. Anyway, I'm going to put this And I got a Death Star. Like, <laughs> You're yeah. done. It's pretty small <laughs> for a Death Star. Well, it's a bet. You know, it's one I keep it right. Yeah. <laughs> the real it's estate cost. Model. Yeah. Okay. Oh no, this is training. Um, you know how Luke trained with the round thing. Or... Maybe it's, the, it's supposed to be the one that tortures Leia in the cell oh. of the Death Star. But no, it's the Death Star. Which has a massive needle on it, like <laughs> three thousand years in the future. Oh, we have massive needles on everything. Was that yeah. just awesome? You think Anakin's <laughs> a head case already, and you know he killed a bunch of young Jedi, and then went to the dark side and everything? What do you think he think when he realized he tried to torture his daughter? <sighs> oh, that guy would just go. Nuts. He probably liked it. No, he's not that far gone. 
He's still Dude, he chopped off a bunch of kids' heads. Okay, yeah, he's screwed. Yeah, I mean, okay. after you've done that. <laughs> All right. I'm going to put this guy on my desk, so I'm just going to move him over here. Uh, we need to talk about oh, yeah. the, uh, the gun kid for the show here. We I was just thinking, like, did he make out with Lair? Since, like, the whole family seems to make out. Yeah, we well, just look at Lair. They're twins. They're very close. <laughs> I always knew you were my brother. Mm-hmm. You know, I you. Okay. All right. I need to talk about oh, the mobile worker, sorry. Ryan. And I've got it all assembled here, so I'm going to start. Is that all right? Please sit. Thanks. All right, so here's the mobile worker. This is Nash's suit. Now, um, I really like the look of it because, you know, it's meant to be a machine, like a work machine, and you can see that they've got, you know, the hazard kind of stickers all over here. These are all stickers. You have to put them on every piece here. They even have them like the, the back of the arms and the front of the arms. Some of them are kind of difficult to kind of find the place that they go and go in and stick them in. Like for the legs, it's probably better to put them on before you close the legs. But once on there, I think it, it looks really cool and it really does look like a working machine. Now it does have a lot of uh, kind of articulation this way. So you can swing this giant hand around. Same with here. You, you don't get so much up this way with the shoulder, but that's all right. Uh, I also want to point out that uh, these these parts here, and also on the side of the legs, kind of similar to you know Zaku, these are kind of really soft, rubbery type of plastic. They're not the hard plastic that we're used to seeing when we see these kind of areas and kits. Um, backpack, nothing special about it. It doesn't come off or anything, but you you do um, mount the the soft parts in there, so it is pretty cool. Um, now, there's one thing I want to mention about the torso, if I can pop it up here. Uh, some people complain that, you know, you can't see through it, it's not clear. They didn't give you any clear parts. That is true. However, if I'm able to do this here, I might need, might need something pointy. You, the, there's two pieces, I think, on how these go together. I'm probably not going to be able to do this now, even though I just thought about it. Um, can you get in close there and see? This mm-hmm. line here. Mm-hmm. This piece plugs in. Um, I imagine I could probably pop it out, but I have to go from this side. If you want a kind of open cockpit, you know, for your mobile worker, don't put that piece in. I realize afterwards, but if you don't put that piece in, this this will be open and you'll be able to see through, and it will look more like like a cock a cockpit with glass windows, but you won't be able to see any details inside because there are no details inside. So that's that there. Pop this back in here. These have a tendency to come out but generally they're pretty stable. Um, it does come with the extra marking stickers which you can put all over. So I've got them all over the kit as well as the legs here. Now, um, you can see that it has a gimmick similar to the prototype goof where I can pop these here and pull off this one, entire set. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. So that is cool. You can also, of course, do it with this hand. They do give you an extra hand for shield which you just plug in here if you pop this off. But I'm going to actually do this because in the manual it does say, hey, if you have the prototype goof, which I just happen to have here, mm-hmm. you can take those extra arm parts from your prototype oh. goof. And will it actually work? I think you're actually supposed to, is it this arm part? This is the first time I'm doing it, so I don't know if it actually clicks in perfectly, but you can see that it actually mounts on there. Mm-hmm. So you can take your goof parts from your prototype goof and you can mount them on this guy here. So, I mean, you have this kind of hand here. These, actually, they're really easy to manipulate. These these here, this, not so much. But let's do this. All right, let's take this off. Let's put this one on. See, it goes in there perfectly, mm-hmm. right? That's pretty cool. And then I can get a hand or put his axe on here. What do I have on there? Like that too. Oh, okay. So you can swap parts if you got the prototype goof. That is pretty cool. So I'm interested to see if they're going to make any type of prototype, type of origin kits that will also swap with this. Maybe we'll, there'll be a third one. I know the uh, Shar Zaku does not have, it's not listed as a prototype, of course, so it does not have the, the swappable parts. But if they have a regular Zaku, it might. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, now that my, my goof is kind of armless, I feel sad for him. So. Let's try to reverse this. I don't know if Bandai indicates that you can reverse this, but let's give it a try. It looks like it just might be too big. 
this peg is always difficult to hold in the right position. So let's see if I can get this on. Oh, it works. It works. <laughs> okay, now I'm liking this kit even more. Check out my mobile worker prototype goof. Get on there. I think that is badass. Just gonna line it up again. Sorry. There you go. Two pieces of pod. Okay, there you go. We got the mobile worker, Mash's machine. I really like it. I like it as well. Yeah, I think it's it's different. It's different. It's kind of like, I don't know how you say, it, step backwards. When you talk about the evolution of a giant fighting machine, this is kind of where it would start. You know, you have this machine which is used for a job. You can see he's got these cranes. He's a mobile worker. He's going to be doing some kind of work. And, you know, he is apparently able to use it to fight as well. I mean, you are going to can do some serious damage with these things. It's like if you're dri driving a tractor or... You know, an earth moving machine. It's like, like the tractor of the universe. Those things can do serious damage. Trust me, I know because I ran into a barn once. But, um, yeah. What is the. <laughs> no comments. What happens then? Well, <laughs> you know, I went out the concept, and I ran into a barn and then, like, well, it's getting back to Gundam. Yeah, so I used to work on farms when I was young, 19, 18, 18 19, 20, until I was about 23. And I would drive the tractors and stuff like that. And um, I really enjoyed it because driving these big machines. And I also kind of like testing the limits, like with the big bucket and stuff, like how small of a space was it, would I be able to operate in? What could I do in that kind of space and stuff like that? And so I'd have to like clean the barn and there'd be a, a section with a low overhanging roof and we'd have to kind of go in there with our shovels. But I would think, oh, maybe I could squeeze the the, bear, uh, the bucket in there and you know, I could do it. And then I wasn't paying attention when I backed out and I raised the bucket too high and hit the roof. Yeah, you know. Yeah. To bring the barn down. No, no. It was fine. Just, you know, some wood splintered and stuff like that. <laughs> Nobody was any the wiser. <laughs> <laughs> until so, now. Until it's now. The internet. Don't tell my boss. <laughs> I might be dead now. I don't know. Um, Anyone okay. in Canada? Okay, sorry. Yeah. So. Canada. It looks... I, I mean, I think it's, it's nice that it's the universe cool. is expanding and it's not just fighting machines. It's yeah. actually... Yeah, yeah. You know, functional. Well, when you're trying to tell a story, of, like an origin of like where where Shark comes from, right? Um, you have to go back and before they were fighting and things like that. And this is the kind of world they lived in. So Shark drove a. No, he, well, he didn't drive it, but people around him did, right? So, all right, I'm going to put this aside yes. here because we have some questions. Questions, yes. So, let's do questions yes. first. Yep. Is Nashikal. I really thought you were supposed to fold the frame rubber into different forms, but it turns out it was just a cool looking runner. Um, well, actually, there's one part that I wasn't able, I didn't show, not like I wasn't mm -hmm. able to, I, I just didn't have time, I forgot about it, but I realized afterwards that after you take that frame apart and you pop it all off and you can make your robot and you can transform it into the weapon, you can also put it back together as a frame and put it back in that box if you want. So they've, they've designed so it will attach. There's like a, a male-female connection on each end of the part. It goes pop, pop, pop. And you put it back into that frame thing, and then you put it back in the box. Okay. It is wow. kind of cool. Okay. Yeah. So it's quite a it. departure. It's supposed to have yeah. three forms. The frame form, the robot form, and the weapon form. So if you look at the uh, the new ones that are coming out in the next set, they're even more crazy. Okay. The design is, they have uh, like a ring that goes around the body and stuff like that. So it'll be interesting to see how they make that into the frame design. It's cool. Joe, yeah, you guys can't resist talking about Star Wars. You know, I can't about. resist talking about Star Wars. Even when we turn off the camera, we're still yeah. talking about Star Wars. Star Wars. You know, I kind of like it. I kind of like that Star Wars thing. It's pretty good. Me it's too. Not, it's not bad. Don't disappoint me. <laughs> yeah. Oh my That's God. What I'm saying. Don't disappoint me. I've been burned once. Yeah. Fool me once, episode one. Shame on you. <laughs> Fool me twice. Episode two. <laughs> Shame on me. <laughs> Okay, next we've got Masterful Paladin. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'll gl I'd gladly accept any of those three kids as a prize. I love you guys. I love Gunpla and I love watching you guys talking about Gunpla. Keep it up. And I think you'll you put friends to shame and I've lost even the longest of the series. We're going we're gonna to keep going and going forever? I retire in like 20 you know, years. Friends are eventually, what, at seven, eight people? All coupled up. What, they talk about, he, um, he talks about going longer than the longest series. Do you know um, sazaya san Yeah, yeah, it's like 50 years. Yeah, it's been going like 40-something years. Yeah. In Japan, I don't know if we talked about this before, but they have a show every Sunday night at 6.30 called sazaya san and it's about this woman who lives in this family situation. Like, she lives with her mom and her dad and her, and her husband and her children, but also her brother and sister who are as young as her child. Yeah. Like, it, it gets weird, but um, this show has been going on for 40 years, and it's so ingrained in the culture that they have now what they call... Sazai Bio or Sazai Sickness, 
which is like when you see that show at 6 30 at night and sunday everybody realizes oh i have to go to work tomorrow morning and they get sad <laughs> it's like the simpsons isn't the simpsons yeah. on sunday in the yeah, states yeah. it just keeps going and going yeah if you, a sunday doesn't go by where you're not you're not aware of the thing we're making anymore. people depressed yet so. no not at no. all <laughs> it's awesome if you watch it it's really enjoyable <laughs> my daughter enjoys it yeah yeah it's fun next yami ronman another great episode my birthday is coming soon and winning one of those kicks would be an awesome birthday gift from you guys yeah well i guess you didn't win. you didn't win <laughs> but i figured i'd give you a birthday present anyway and read your comment on gumpa tv so there you go happy birthday merry birthday win. yeah you didn't win sorry yeah um jeff freak jeffrey with one f okay <laughs> i didn't win the Kshatriyas goes to the corner and cries. Anyways, I saw in some website that an RE1100 Kshatriya is under planning shown at All Japan Model and Hobby Show. Can you confirm if this is true? Man, I can't wait to have that. Goof looks good, by the way. Yes, we were at the, uh, the Hobby Show and we did see that, that poster. That, that little poster that said, in planning, and they had some what they have for the RE100 and the Kshatriya was in there, the Jigen was in there. Uh, the Reborn's Gunnam was in there. I can't remember some of the other ones. Um, yeah, we didn't show it in the episode, I don't think. But I do remember last, a uh, few years ago, we went to the Gunpa uh, Expo and we, they had the RG under development and they yeah. had Goof and uh, I think the Easy 8 and stuff like that. And we took video of that and uh, they never showed up. So maybe we were a little reluctant to well, take maybe, video of the other yeah, things. Yeah, maybe, if we're, maybe, at the, maybe at the Gundam Expo they yeah, might yeah. have more information That's about the, thing, the one. Like That's what I was waiting for. We'll go there and... Uh, we haven't seen an RE release in any of the last few months when they've talked about new releases. So we're due for one. So I'm sure the Gunplex, but we'll have something. Maybe it will be a Kshatriya and people will get their dream kit, right? Everybody's wanting it. More PGs, but they're not going to do it. So, Sid. Yes, I, I do have some, some questions to read because I have some stuff to give away. Now, ah. we, had some, we had three kits to give away, if you recall. Um, the first one is the G-Self. And, you know, we were going to give away some... We can get the kits because the, the series is finished. So here is the G self in here. Ooh. Yes. The now G-self. we had what was it? Two hundred seventy comments. Two hundred seventy-two comments. G self. Now, first winner of the G the G self is comment number one hundred, and it is Shika, and he says war in internet slang, which is M O A R. So I guess he wants to see more Gumpa TV. More. I want more. Yeah, so that sounds like a little, he gets more plamo wow, in the form kinda. of the uh, the G cell. So, okay. Uh, there you go. Congratulations, Congratulations. Chica. You got more. You got right. more. More. All right. Next one was the gold frame. This is the one I kind of kind of painted some of the gold parts. Yeah, this on. was your like a Sid. Yeah, well, I just painted the, the frame because you know how I don't like some of the this gold. This is sometimes. freaking awesome. Yeah, it's this is pretty shiny. Beautiful. Pretty shiny. Okay, now it went <clears> to comment number one twenty nine. They were all grouped up. This week, 100, 129. And it is Laurenier, and he says, That goof! Yeah, that goof is pretty awesome. But you're getting a girlfriend. So. <laughs> Congratulations. And the last one we were giving away, which required some assembly to open the box, something like Fallout. <laughs> Let's see. <sighs> Strike Freedom. Comment number 122. And it goes to Camor, if I'm reading that correctly. And he says, Really liking the IBO so far, uh, Iron Bloody Orphans. I already have the HD grade. Grays and Barbatos on the way from HLJ. Thank you, sir. Yeah, so now you got to get the 100s because they're coming up next yeah. this month, right? Nice get those on the way this is too. awesome. Yeah, cool. So, I have more stuff to give away. Uh, remember, I will be contacting winners by email. Please give me a couple days. So, next up, Time. as we say goodbye or have said goodbye to Reconquista, mm. I thought we'd oh, give this away guy. the I love this grimoire. Guy. Yeah, this kit was a lot of fun when I built it. Uh, you know, it's kind of, I don't know. So different. Subtle, not a lot of craziness about it, no. but when I actually kind of built it and looked at it, it, it has a shape that is appealing. It has symmetry. Yeah, and maybe it's the roundedness of it. Yeah, it's yeah. like a... It appeals to me. I wonder like Robbie's it. tummy. Yeah. All right, round. <laughs> Off my mind. Okay, so somebody's getting the grimoire. <laughs> <laughs> fan favorite, not necessarily from an anime. People love the Gundam F91, even though the animation, is, the movie in itself is a little sketchy. But uh, the HG kit is the recent one. It's actually really, really nice. I like it. 
It's one of my favorites. Even the mastery is one of my favorite kits. And now this last one, I'm gonna kind of make it a Whoa, surprise. Whoa, it's free. Yeah, yeah, well, I gotta clean some space. We're turning up the volume. That's right. Ooh, the Ingram. Coming. Yeah, ooh, the Ingram. But it's not the Ingram. I just found something inside Bang. this box. Well, I have the Ingram somewhere. Um, I do have the full armor, what is the full armor Gundam from Gundam Thunderbolt. Yeah. And I thought we'd give this away because one, I found it and I was surprised I still had it. Look at this thing. So loaded up. Got backpack and stuff. Look at that thing. Um, we have everything in here. But uh, there's a rumor, and I think it's true, that they've decided, Banda has decided, or whoever it is, um, to make an animation out of the Thunderbolt manga. Really? Thunderbolt was only available as a comic. Yeah, yeah, really, yeah, really yeah, well yeah. drawn as well. Yeah, yeah, I love the box art yeah. as well. Yeah, and uh, it looks like they're going forward with making an animation series. So in the very near future, we'll have some details. We'll have some Gun Thunderbolt animation to talk about, and then I'm sure we're going to see more kits. And if they have an animation, we might see MGs. So somebody's going to win an Ingram one box that contains the full armor Gun from the Gun Thunderbolt. I'm disappointed. Where's my Ingram? I'm going to get into the comments and you complain. Know, what are you talking about? There's a there's an Ingram. Funny them out there. <laughs> actually, okay. talking about TV shows. Yeah. There was actually a little bit of sunshine. sunshine. They're going to do a Star Trek TV show. 2017 series. or something. Yeah. Like that. I'm like, wow, that's cool. Was I, yeah. um, I mean, I'm happy. Bring it back. Okay. Bring back the Star Trek. Bring back Star Trek until you have had more than enough of it and stop for a while. I always kind of enjoyed the TV show. You know, I like Star Trek because I used to watch it with my dad. Of course, you know, they, there's that whole Star Wars, Star Trek difference there schism. Or schism that's exactly the word i was going to use and if you like one you can't really like the other kind of thing i, like I love of course like star wars and my dad really loved star trek and we would watch star trek at home together and so i i did like it um deep space nine and stuff when they started doing that eh, it was all right but uh i was a huge fan because mm. i yeah i mean i've watched i watched the um, next generation yeah. and it just it hasn't aged well <laughs> So, but that's always the problem with the tea with TV, isn't it? Especially when they're trying to do that like, tech kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah, it's just like yeah. whoa. Yeah, like whoa. It's like <laughs> it's like Seinfeld. But at the time, I Are we it. talking about Seinfeld? Seinfeld yeah. hasn't hasn't aged well at all. Because well, when you think about it, like half their episodes of them trying to run across town to talk to somebody, like hi, we have smartphones. No, no, it's still it's funny. It's still but funny, it's, but the the, the but scenarios just, they put themselves in are not realistic anymore. So well, I just found out that vintage. Jerry is a freaking asshole. Like. You watch that and you just realize that the guy just treats everyone like crap. <laughs> anyway, um, I don't mind that. Just to remind everyone, you yes. know, we are brought to you by Hobbiting Japan, mm -hmm. HLJ.com. Yeah. Uh, you know, support us. We appreciate it. Yeah. And a lot of people already do. Of course. And uh, you can chat to us on, you know, Facebook, Twitter, on Hobbiting TV, on the groups. We have some Reddit. groups. Reddit. Um, so yeah, just say hi. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, that's all I got to say. Okay. Uh, if you didn't know, if you want to win the kits we just oh, showed, you just leave a comment. Oh, God. That's okay. Just leave a comment on episode 187 on Hobbiting TV, and uh, you're eligible to win. So there's a lot of good articles on Hobbiting TV. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff coming. There's a lot of stuff. People start some new groups. There's some really good stuff. There's some really there. awesome Warhammer posts. Did I mention yeah. that before? I don't know. Mm -hmm. If you're interested in like someone painting Warhammer, yeah. and just, just check it out. It yeah. is amazing. Yeah, there's some really good Thank stuff you. on there. So, and don't... Uh, forget that you are also able to submit, submit your own things as well. Yeah. So please do. If you want to create a group, go ahead. If there's a group you already like, go ahead. Join it. Communicate with everybody. Submit your pictures and works. We'd love to see them. Yeah. Yeah? It's a okay. good community, actually. Uh, it's really good. Yeah. Uh, I'm really proud of how it's going. Um, next week, we're going to be talking about the Super Fum Fumina. I hope to have it built. We'll have some more new kits to show. And then we kind of shut it down as we start preparing for the Gunpla Expo. Yeah. So we are going to do a normal release normal episode next week and then November 20th is a uh -huh. Friday we're going to be going to the Gunpla Expo uh -huh. we're going to hope to have the video up that night we hope that's so the plan. Yeah. That's the plan we're pretty good these we've days. done it before actually yeah. and one thing by the time this video airs yeah. there'll be a sale on oh nice our autumn sale okay so you know check it out alright so let's wrap it up yeah alright see you guys later see you guys